grade 11s, this lesson will tackle a topic that most find difficult, financial timeline problems. In these problems, we will change the interest rates of investments as well as the amount of money that's in an investment. We'll calculate the total amount of money in the investment after these changes are made. It is vital not to round off too early in your calculation since that will affect your final answer. There are two methods to do these calculations. We're first going to do the longer method and then use the same example to show the shorter method. Let's have a look at an example. Susan would like to use her savings to do some traveling soon. She deposited 5,500 into a savings account. Five years later, she deposited another 4,000 Rand into the account. Interest for the first three years was 14% per annum compounded semi-annually. Thereafter, the interest rate changed to 12% per annum, compounded monthly. How much money does Susan have at the end of seven years? The easiest way to tackle these questions is to put all the information on a timeline. T0 represents year zero. The timeline goes all the way to T7, showing all seven years of the investment. Now, Let's fill in the deposits. 5,500 Rand is invested at the beginning of the first year. So we place it above T0. After five years, which is at T5 on the timeline, another 4,000 Rand is invested. Now let's indicate the interest rates. We'll put these below the timeline to make it easier to read. For the first three years, the interest rate is 14% compounded semi-annually. So we draw a line from T0 to T3 and write down the interest rate 0, 0,14 divided by 2. The interest rate then changed to 12% per annum compounded monthly. We draw a line from T3 to T7 and write the interest rate of 0, 0,12 divided by 12. Now we'll work through the timeline step by step and write down our calculation as we go. Remember that the formula for compound interest is A is equal to P, open brackets, 1 plus I, close brackets, to the power of N. Now, with the longer method, we will start a new calculation with every change that happens on the timeline. The first calculation deals with the initial deposits of 5,500 Rand. It is invested at 14% per annum, compounded semi-annually for three years. This comes to a total of 8,254,016935. The interest rate changes at the end of the first three years to 12% compounded monthly. Let's do the next calculation using this information. The money stayed in the account for two years at this interest rate and grew to 10,480,41129. In the last part of the calculation, 4,000 Rand is added to the investment. The investment matures for another two years and comes to a total of 18,386,27994 after the seven years. Usually at this stage, we would round off our answer to two decimal places. But let's leave this one as it is so that we can compare the answer of the long method to the answer we get using the shorter method. The shorter method combines all three calculations into one. Each piece of money has its interest calculated separately and then they are added together. Let's try to do this together. A is equal to 5,500, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,14 over 2, close brackets, to the power of 6, multiplied by, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,12 over 12, close brackets, to the power of 48. This part of the calculation will give us the total interest the initial deposit will earn at the end of 7 years. Because another deposit was made a little later, we will need to add this to the calculation. Susan deposited another 4,000 Rand into the savings account. 
This has an interest rate of 12% compounded monthly for two years. This means that our final calculation reads, A is equal to 5,500, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,14 over 2, close brackets, to the power of 6, multiplied by, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,12 over 12, close brackets, to the power of 48, plus 4,000, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,12 over 12, close brackets, to the power of 24. Using a calculator, we find that A is equal to 18,386,27994. As you can see, this method is a lot faster than doing three different calculations, and it comes to the same answer. At the end of the seven-year period, Susan has 18,386 rand and 28 cents to pay for her holiday. Let's practice this method using one more example. If you're feeling brave, you should try this problem on your own first. Yako invests 14,000 rand for six years. After two years, he needs some money and withdraws 2,000 rand. The interest rate for the first four years is 16% per annum compounded quarterly. For the remaining two years, the interest rate changes to 14% per annum compounded half yearly. How much money will Yako have left at the end of the six years? Our first step is to put this information onto a timeline. The timeline starts at T0 and ends at T6. 14,000 Rand is deposited at the beginning and after two years, 2,000 is withdrawn. The interest rate for the first four years is 16% per annum compounded quarterly. And for the remaining two years, the interest rate was 14% per annum compounded half yearly. Once again, we use the compound interest formula. A is equal to 14,000, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,16 over 4, close brackets, to the power of 16 times, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,14 divided by 2, close brackets, to the power of 4. He didn't have the 14,000 in the account for the whole time. But remember that interest for each deposit or withdrawal must be calculated to the end of the investment period before adding or subtracting the next amount of money. After two years, 2,000 Rand is withdrawn from the account. To calculate the full amount by which this decreased the investment over the remaining four years, we complete the calculation for this withdrawal, multiplying it by, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,16 divided by 4, close brackets, to the power of 8, times, open bracket, 1 plus 0, 0,14 divided by 2, close brackets, to the power of 4. Using a calculator, we find that A will be equal to 30,783,52. So after six years, Yako's investment was worth 30,783 Rand and 52 cents. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by trying to do the questions on our task video on finance, growth and decay. You'll also be able to learn more about finance on our website, www.mindset .co.za forward slash learn. It was the best of timelines. It was the worst of timelines. It was the winter of our rands and cents. The end.